Last time on Red Dead Redemption 1, day two, today's day three, um, we found Mr. West Dickens, and he's a snake oil salesman. And we eventually went and helped him be a snake oil salesman by shooting somebody's head out of the air and then shooting a gun out of their hand and then punching them out. And then we went to go find his friend Seth, who is a grave robber. He's going to help us get into Bill Williamson's fort. But also, Bill Williamson's gang is a bunch of, like, I don't know what he learned from Dutch, but it wasn't much. Because it seems that all the shit that he's doing as part of the leader of this fucking gang is uh, the complete opposite of what Dutch, or what he should have learned from Dutch. They're uh, attacking homesteads, killing the men, raping the women, killing the animals. If that's the kind of man Bill Williamson was deep down, I hope we get to murder him. Um... And so this Seth guy, who is like Gollum from the Lord of the Rings, um, and obsessive over treasure hunting and his maps, he's going to help us get into Bill Williamson's fort. And we helped Bonnie McFarlane wrestle some cows, and we saved her horses from a burning barn. And that's what happened last time on Red Dead Redemption 1. And so now we are Bill short for Billiam, as we all know, except that Bill Williamson's first name is actually Marion. M-A-R-I-O-N. That is Bill Williamson's real legal name name I wish it was William Williamson short for Bill Bill short for William but it's not it's Miriam Marian okay map <laughs> we are here for some reason. We slept here last night. Or the last time we played. Um, our options are... Seth, Marshall Johnson, and Nigel West Dickens. Where's there a horse... Uh, there's a horse breaking job? Is it at the... Ranch? Oh, and there's a... Oh, I could break horses for them? No, I, I'm i never, never, never doing that again. Okay, since we're here, we will talk to Nigel West Dickens. See what this butthead wants. Come back between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. It is just after midnight. Well, I think that's going to be the case for all of them. So let's just go to sleep, I guess. Oh, I have to rent it again? That's dumb. Who the hell is this? I, I have to rent it for five dollars and I'm not even... It's not even my own shed? Don't like that. All right. Let's see this butthead. Mr. West Dickens. Liars, cheats, and other proud Americans. Oh, 
Ah, uh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. Yeah, you could have warned me. You don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. Excuse me? Uh, that's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. I hate this and, man. Uh, this being America... <clears throat> That lubricant with which we concern ourselves is money. Money? What are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. <laughs> Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more. He's just gear. stacked. Do Stop not stack charge. another. Around here. Do you want to see Look, I thought race? he was going to put a fourth no. box. The sport of kings. Racing John, how are you friend. managing that? The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> Uh, the path to glory is gonna make me shit my heart out of my ass. Hi, Doors. <laughs> and the graphics do look pretty good for being a 2010 game. I'm mostly surprised by the, uh, like the movement of the characters, it's they 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 seem like very fluid. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life, Watson and Jetson. The connection with them more like you and Seth have a lot in common. We both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until yeah. He dead. does kind of look like the Monopoly oh, guy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romance. Yeah, and that's why what Bill's doing is so fucked up. up. Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. <gasps> I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from we me. are so uh, different than Bill. Is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. Oh, also, I was doing a little bit. Bye, Leah. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you feel better soon. Uh... I looked up Seth's Wikipedia page just to like scroll down to the trivia area to see if there was any references to
to inspiration of him being um, pulled from like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. But I didn't find that information, but I did find that Seth is the is uh, John Marston's voice actor's favorite character. So we need the money. Why are you racing? Charles is also Roger Clark's favorite oh, no. character, Not so you have already proved yourself more than a Maybe I'll really grow to like Seth. Under some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity and the terrain is treacherous. People will do just about anything. How to far win. are we and going? Fun. It's a marvelous spectator sport. It sounds like fun. And you are my wild <gasps> No, I have to we race horses. What's your role in all this? Oh no. As your spiritual guide. Do I have to? You are. Doors, I hope you're having a great weekend. But I strongly recommend it. Thank you for the 100 bits. Just for today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant garde business pioneer. No, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, dear boy. I'm definitely feeling motivated to get the hell out of here. Me too. Where are we? My god, we're so far. I was like, who's behind us? It's Arthur, my horse. Oh my god. Am I racing a wagon? Here we are, John. Gap tooth reach. I don't want to race a wagon. Easy does it. Get on the cart to start the race. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Oh no. Drivers! Y'all know the rules! But for you newcomers, this here's a fair race! Keep to your manners and let the fester cart pass! So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always! Alright now, counting the three! Ready! Set! Go! I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. <gasps> oh god. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. We got this. We got this. No, I don't got this. What is happening? Bananas. Oh, my Lord. <gasps> Why am I so bad at controlling this thing? Oh, wait. <gasps> wait, we're gonna we're gonna start again because John can't swim. <laughs> Wait, my hands are so sweaty. Hi, MJ, how are you? 
<laughs> oh, no. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who put that cactus there? The path to glory is gonna make me shit my heart out of my ass. Oh god, don't do that again, Natalie. Drift! Oh god damn it. I hope this was the right way. I don't think this was the right way. Was it the right way? I guess it was. Oh my gosh! Another- Oh god, another raid. <laughs> I'm racing! <laughs> Give me one second! <laughs> oh god. The horse is mad at me. <gasps> I can see the end! I can see the end! Is this it? Did I win? <gasps> I won! I cannot believe I won that race. I mean, I lost it the first time. I mean, I maybe I could have come back. There was still quite a bit of race left. But that... I thought that was going to take me much longer to do. But we did it! We did it. Thanks, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Why? Right. Best we move ourselves to stay before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye bye me. Wasn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The Wait, rock, where's my horse? Homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Where's Arthur? Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre approved. That was clear. Ah, sport born heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Ooh, what makes the shooting and gun so satisfying? Sir, well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> Where's my Seems money? Wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk. If you Where's my money? Metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower, and for that, 
You need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes. Uh, he's Sean. An interesting kind of fellow. Um, Rip he's Sean. Found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian rebel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Wait. He was all we turned a, a fine profit and then he gave me three dollars. Arthur, what are you doing on the tracks? This is Arthur, right? I'm not stealing somebody else's horse. Oh. Uh a nice person on YouTube, not the guy that tells me he hates my videos. Said to try and uh, read the papers when I can. I sincerely thank you. <gasps> okay. Zoom. Pan. Zoom. Williamson gang. Right. Oh, you guys can't see it. Can you see it a little bit if I do this? Yeah. Williamson Gang, Reign of Terror. In the events that hark back to our state's not so distant and none too glorious past, a gang of thieves and killers is running amok across the western counties. Although New Austin has never been a place for the faint of heart, nor a place that encourages delicacy, a law, law enforcement agencies are particularly worried about this new gang. Not since Dutch Vanderlyn's crew was operating up in West Elizabeth has a criminal group caused so much consternation, nor gained so much publicity. Although cattle wrestling and robberies are unfortunately still common throughout our region, the spate of killings, fires, and burnings caused by Bill Williamson and his gang have shocked even the hardiest and most robust of local residents. Williamson, a career criminal and reprobate, and reprobate with a record running back to reform school, is himself believed to have once run in Vanderlyn's gang. Dutch Vanderlyn himself has not been seen nor heard of from several years, and despite claims of sightings, is thought to have perished in a fire following a bungled robbery in 1906. Uh, we know that's not true. With railway companies and other business interests pushing local and federal government bodies to aid economic development and investment by reducing crime, it is clear that action will not be will be taken against this latest gang attempting to live the American dream outside of the law. Okay. Uh, people missing in Chola Springs. Several residents of Armadillo and the surrounding area have gone missing over the past few months in separate incidents, but none have yet turned up, either dead or alive. Local law enforcement bodies are urging residents to show extra caution when traveling in the backcountry on their own or when traveling at night. Humorist cracks jokes arrives. Uh, that one... Oh, there's something in here about West Dickens. And cattle wrestling. Tumbleweed haunted. Following recent reports of ghost sightings in the abandoned town of Tumbleweed, visitors are continuing continuing to tell of unnatural happenings and strange feelings. Some vis visitors claim to have seen spirits of the dead, others ghosts, still others ghouls and fairies. Our reporter on the scene found no evidence, but we urge readers to send us reports of any unnatural happenings in the area. Oh, interesting. The great train robbery walked so stagecoach could run. That's interesting. Drinking Murphy's instead of Guinness. I must say sometimes you like Murphy's better. Oh, I've had a Murphy's before and I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoy Guinness. Wonder tonic from the east, doctors worried about future. Users of a new medicinal tonic that is being sold in areas of New Austin have reported remarkable results. A one-legged woman in Plainsview grew back her missing limb, and an elderly man close to death got up and ran to the nearest brothel with the resumed vigor of a 14-year-old boy. 
Why is the 14... I don't like that analogy. Wes Dickens' patented elixir claims to affect an infallible and painless... Uh, claims to affect an infallible and painless remedy to virtually all known human ailments, both internal, external, and spiritual, including aches, sprains, dysentery, lumbago, paralysis, chillblains, malaria, genital debility, rickets, and depressed humors. The tonic, which is the result of years of research combining ancient wisdom from the East and scientific investigations from universities across the land, is being hailed by its distributor, distributor as the greatest medical discovery of our time. It doesn't mention TB, Tom. It doesn't mention TB, unfortunately. Oh, but this... <gasps> Tobacco fights tuberculosis. Tom, did you know that this was up here? Everywhere that fresh air abounds, man knows nothing of coughs, cold, or lung inflammations. However, as man creates cities and herds into f and is herded into factories, sweatshops, mines, and mills, these soggy and unhygienic atmospheres spread the most deadly pulmonary diseases, tuberculosis. Dr. Charles L. Hendon says workers can disinfect themselves and protect against disease through smoking in the workplace. Wait, this says an orgy of telephones. Most miracles are spread quietly as the oak grows. However, the telephone has grown like a common garden weed. There are now 10 million telephones in the world. This novel vocal specter has a certain haunting charm as telephone girls work day and night asking, what number please? What man hasn't imagined the dalliances of exquisite fairies that bless the most romantic of the commercial sciences? The telephone and telegraph companies promise Blackwater skies will soon be one of wires in every direction. Truly a crystal clear and sullied future at the same time oh cart race furs and pelts excellent prices offered river traders pawn shop thieves landing new austin horse deeds for sale uh the marriage is announced to be solemnized of miss molly brannigan daughter of cole and ella brannigan to mr melvin brannigan son of cole and ella Brannigan. Wait. What? Does the, I don't know what solemnized means. I need to look this up. This is... Wait, did a brother and sister just get married? Solemnize. Duly perform a ceremony, especially that of marriage. They need only to find a priest to solemnize their marriage. Mark with a formal ceremony. He made the promise which was solemnized by the local witch doctor. So a brother and a sister got married. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Uh, young boy missing. Oh, that's the kid that I was looking for. Animal bait for sale. No, I'm okay. I don't think I'll be doing a lot of hunting in this game. News newspapers bought detail various goings on in the world, including some of your own. In order to read your newspaper, choose a newspaper item from your satchel. Cat hair all over. Ay ay ay. Well, I have one pelt from that buck that John very disastrously skinned. Uh, yikes. Yikes, my dudes. Yikes. Uh, let's go. I kind of want to see what the marshal's doing, but Seth is right here. So let's go see our buddy Seth. I 
I can't believe Wes Dickens only gave me three fucking dollars. What an asshole. Come on! Come on, Arthur! Come on! People are shooting. No, move out of my way. Oh, Jesus. This way? This way? What is this? This gang hideout is deserted at the moment. What gang hideout? Don't know who's shooting. Come on. Seth, are you in trouble? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Wait. No! I was gonna help you! Where'd he go? Oh, I think they killed him. I think that was his body. Yep, they killed him. Okay. Go. Okay, let's hitch Arthur. And let's find Seth. Let the dead bury their dead. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere Just sniffed his shoe? For us, Cap, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that <coughs> treasure does <coughs> funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. This house? That's No, that's not that's not that's not that's not that's not Oh god Excuse me? Oh Nope. How did I do this Put again? Your guns down and run back to your family. What? Oh. Where are you? I see the bastard. Where? So shoot him. Oh god! John? Oh. Come on, get up. 
Where are these other ones? That's it, partner. Smoke Where are the rest of them? Oh. Come on! It's mine! I found it! Oh, uh, what? How are you still alive? Oh, like a better dead. Is there someone in the house too? Oh, they are. That's the house we're going to, I guess. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh god. Oh my god. Alright. I understand now. Alright. Yes, we finished RDR2. Damn, this one's locked. Let's check the back. Kick it open, John Marston. Please, before they find it. We're in luck. Damn, you shot me. Uh-oh. Jesus, what? Why do you remind me of Micah? Kill them all, mister. How many are there? They're not. Maybe I want my pistol. What can I say, partner? That's my damn treasure. Fuck you. I don't like the flashing lights. Oh, I think it's up, but I'm gonna go back here. See, this is a very Do big basin. Seth, shut your fucking face, bro. Don't let him get my treasure, mister. Is that all of you? You're due. Oh. Are you gonna shoot somebody? Shoot you, Seth. Hey, you want to with you? That? Come on! There's only one of it. Oh God. Cool, John. You didn't do anything. Is this guy dead? Jesus Christ. Don't leave any alive. Try not to. What that meant to me. I wish I knew where the dudes were. Sneaky sons of bitches. Uh. 
Hi, Tom. Yes, we did have a great time. All right. Upstairs. Uh oh. Where? Oh, God. What are you doing, John? Ah, ah, ah. You take your wit up, mister. Think you can just walk in here? Why didn't that aim properly? I'm frothing at the mouth, giving you, mister. Nope, John. Whoa! What? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Let me see! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Finally, I see the light at the end of this very long, long tunnel. Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister! <laughs> I thought you didn't like women, Seth. What the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye? I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps! Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! <laughs> it's a glass eye! Stop <laughs> with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Good God. That's all it was? I don't even get to take the glass eye? Okay, can't go in there. What if I want the glass eye? Can I loot this body? I think I already looted this body. This ain't nice. I know. Like you care, John Marston. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I could actually do that. Can I look through chests and drawers like Arthur can? Oh, no, but I did find another chest. Was there any money in there? Oh, it's yeah, that was that room. No, there was just ammo. <laughs> what about tuberculosis? My apologies, mister. Now how do I get out of here? Oh, thank god. Did I loot this guy already? I need money. <laughs> uh, 
Is that Arthur? Whose horse is this? Is this Arthur? This is Arthur. Maybe I didn't... Maybe I wasn't on Arthur before. Uh, instead of going to West Dickens, I'm gonna go... to... I'm gonna go to the Marshall. Let's go. Need to find a road. Maybe I'll find a road down here. John! Three D mode. Well, oh, I didn't realize that was still active. Where did I put the glasses? I thought I had turned that off for these streams, but Shin, I'll I'll give it to you. Oh, I almost went to go use my keyboard. Oh, wait. I need to set a timer. Go. I wonder what the marshal's gonna have us doing today. I feel badly that we have to run through their farm. Whoops. 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 Whoops! Oh god. I almost wish... No Jesus Christ. I wish I had been streaming or recording some of the shit that I did today in RDR2 because... Uh, I wasn't really paying attention and I ran Snowball and Arthur into a stagecoach. And then when I was trying to find a rock carving by uh, the Owen Lake Owenjiwa, I was like praising Snowball and I think Arthur said something like that's my good girl and then I immediately ran her into like a divot in the rock formation and she ate shit <laughs> like that Oh wait, I want to hitch my horse. What are you doing, John Marston? Mister, they're about to hang my buddy and he ain't done nothing wrong. You gotta help. What? The last time I did this, the person died. Where are we going? Come on. Come on. Come on, easy up now. Where are we going? And you appear to be a very good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you certainly are, aren't you? You slobbering beauty. Is this man just like taking me to an area where he's gonna murder me? I don't understand. Oh 
Oh god. Oh god, I shot the horse. Oh no, he's still dying. Oh, he's still dead. How do I shoot the... Whoops. What are you doing, John Martian? Put your gun away. Well, he's dead already. Well, next time, I'll try harder. Bye, MJ. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, horses. Can you stop? Oh, this horse is dead too. I don't know if that's the one that I... I see now. Well, he had five dollars on him. And these are the two... Where's Arthur? Arthur's over here. Oh wait, I need this red sage. Right I need this for the old man. Okay, put your gun away. Oh, there's a wanted poster, too. Maybe we'll do that later, if it's still there. Let's go. Okay, goodbye, horses. Sorry. Oh! There was also a stranger mission in Armadillo. Okay. Let's go. All these people, man. Ay, ay, ay. Some of the money for payment. I persuaded him, all right. Thank you, Keen. I'm a true gamer. Come on. 
I, j I can't show my true skill or else everyone will feel bad about their own level of expertise, you know? So. Itch horse. Okay. Hanging. <gasps> I don't have a clue. All right, but it's gonna be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Whole government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. I was not expecting that. Come on, let's ride hard to Tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill's standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard! He's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, <laughs> for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? Lonely guy We've been there, place. John. Twice now. It. it was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. 
Whole popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. <laughs> Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. And why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East... You think you're a man, do you? The boys will be getting that spoke in, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Can I just shoot them all? I hope that was order yet. I ain't had my turn. Oh, I hate I'm this. Across the bridge. I don't like this storyline. And the the yelling conversations across horse horseback are uh, are very interesting. It's more noticeable between Bonnie and John. Easy there, John. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. By myself? Surely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. What if I just shot Here him? Those rancher girls like him in the rear. Who approved this dialogue? What is this? <laughs> what the fuck, Rockstar? Oh my god. Oh man. They don't write anything like this. In Red Dead 2? Yeah, someone had to voice that. Someone read that line and wrote and said, yeah, I'll read that. Oh my god. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath for breathing? Come on now, boys. Cut me loose. Wait. Where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Oh god. Oh god, I can hear Bonnie screaming. Wait, someone shoot- oh, from up there. What? I don't like that I can hear her screaming. <laughs> Where is she, you 
The Wilhelm scream is my favorite part. Nope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no! I died! <laughs> oh no! I don't like this at all! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh God. Okay, he's done. Oh no no. Oh no no. Oh no no. Get away from her. How did you get into the bottom of this wall? Oh fuck me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got to be I got to Oh boy. I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't <laughs> okay. 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 Wait. Uh, hold on. Two fingers. Uh, I don't have medicine. <laughs> Where is she? Okay, I gotta pick them off. Oh my god. If I get too close, that's when the uh That's when this the, the that thing starts, the cutscene. I can't get too close. Someone on the roof? Bonnie, you sons of oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. She ain't involved in this. How was it? Oh, someone's shooting me from behind. Fuck! Shit, someone was shooting me from the side. <sighs> I can do this. I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals. Oh, Deke's dead too. Good. Okay. Oh.
I don't like her screaming. Fuck! Oh my god. Maybe? Okay. Cut her down. Come on, John. Cut the rope. John! Oh my god. Why is this so hard? Oh, fuck me. Oh! Sometimes it wants me to push R2, and then sometimes it doesn't want me to push R2. It's very confusing, the Deadeye. <laughs> Hi, RJ. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> John Marston. Hi, mashed potato fan. If it ain't me, it's someone else. All right, now let's just loot all the bodies. Hopefully there's no one still here waiting to pick me off. First try. Where's this body? Oh, it's upstairs. How do I get up there? I can't. Well, that was exciting. My head hurts now from all of Bonnie screaming. All right. Now what? Should I go back to the ranch and make sure she's okay? I'm going to go back to Armadillo and do this stranger mission, I guess. I might- I might have nightmares about that. I might have nightmares about that. I did not enjoy that mission. Oh wait. want to loot Deke's body. Do you have anything good on him? Five dollars. That's it. We did, but we murdered them with the help of the marshal. We were with the law when we did it. So I think that's okay. Come on. Fucking go. Arthur? They did also have it coming. I just keep killing Bill's men. He's gonna have no one left to defend it. He's gonna have no one left to defend his fort. Ooh, Arthur, don't you buck me, you son of a bitch. Don't you do that.
Damn it, I always go the wrong way around this stupid house. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. The roads in uh, RDR2 are a little bit easier to see and follow. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. That happened to me as uh, as Arthur today, playing RDR2. Instead, I, I whistled and snowball bucked him, and then I shot him. Why are you so difficult, Arthur? Gotcha. Down you come. Oh, I ran over an animal again. <sighs> well, that was exciting. Oh, the bounty, no. the wanted poster is gone. I need to go back to Thieves Landing and buy that sort of shotgun. Oh my god. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> That's not really oh the right god. thing to say there, John. If he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm with the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. I mean, you could marry the man <laughs> whose wife went missing. Mister? I have seen this crab out the corner of uh -huh. China. <laughs> I'm gonna have to excuse Just push that man out of the way. All right, let's go back here. Find a shoe and a forearm. What do we think we're going to find today? Come on, Arthur. Hey. Oh, there's actually a person here. Oh, 
Mister! Mister! Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me. And then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Hog tie the attacker. Oh, this guy? Uh, okay. Make sure I have my lasso. You're all crazy! Oh, okay. <laughs> Supposed to bring him back uninjured. Please! I'll do anything! This is a nightmare! <laughs> Perhaps... Is he the victim? Come on, John. You can do it. Come on, John. You can do it. Come on, John. You can do it! Men away from me. Uh, uh, hey, fella. <laughs> you broke this Anna. poor fool's leg, mister. Anna, this maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. John! Off you go then. American appetites. <laughs> so it's complete. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was gonna have me walk away too. But like, where's this man going? So all the people who went missing... ...were eaten? Is that what's happened here? They were eaten. Well, I got honor from saving him, but I don't know that I have any answers for this pregnant lady and the lady who lost her son and the other lady who- and the dude who lost his wife. People are shooting each other. I'm not getting involved. Let's go see this Irish dude. Well, too late. A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Yes, 
for you. You missed a properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick Cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy. Oh, this don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Oh. Look here, this paddy bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did, not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You reckon that fool of Irish is worth dying for? A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene. The guy with the beard was supposed to be French? <laughs> what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent. Government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. So confused. Alrighty, my guardian angel, this way. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. Someone's screaming for help, but I can't help right now. I'm busy. Come on, do you want this gun or not? Yeah, I do. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Choke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, he always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who are stealing acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Well, he sure speaks English, funny. But <laughs> for now, the thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish? I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. Yeah, I'm apparently. Long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. You stay here, Arthur. Am I supposed to sneak around? Is my horse following me? Great, welcome here, mister. Move along. Well, okay. Well, they saw me. Back off now before I put a hole in your skull. What the hell? Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god. Get up. Did it. Let's see what you got. You got it, Tom. I really need to go buy that shotgun. I wish the horse didn't follow me down here. Die, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. It's not here. That lion sack is shit. Uh-oh. Are we sure it's not here? Is it in the chimney? Most of the time when there's a chimney, there's stuff hidden in it. Where is he? Is he back up this hill? Or did he fuck off somewhere? Where did he go? How the hell did he get all the way over here? Here am I thinking he's waiting for me at the top of the hill. Not even Arthur's waiting for me. What are you doing over there, boy? What? Who do I think you are? Oh god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh god. I can't believe I didn't die. It's not my fault. They say they will kill me if I don't help. Please don't kill me. Here, take all the money. It's yours. Please don't kill me. Get out of here, lady. All right, so that happened again. That I almost died, but I didn't. What have you got for me? <laughs> oh, also. When I was, uh, did I say this already? When I was looking for one of the rock carvings today as Arthur, um, one of them is, uh, up by Mount Hagen, which is where you go look for Micah in the epilogue. And the cabin that Dutch comes out of is different. Like, they must have, like, spent some time boarding it up and, like, adding a second layer, because when you go there for the rock carving, it's not, like, it's very dilapidated. And so I thought that was interesting. Let's go. Which makes sense, because they're there for a number of years, before John finds them.
keep passing by these plants, but I am too fast. I'm gonna shoot this Irish shithead in the head. That's really rude. He lied to me. I just need a gun so I can murder my old gang member friend. Is that so hard? Is that so bad? What the fuck? Actually, I will... Excuse me? Where's this? Over here. Red That's Sage. Important. There's a few things that change between 1899 and 1907, like all the Sandini trolley cars go from being Cornwall trolley, oh, to Pacific Union. John riding alone through the desert with his gun out the whole time? Yes, he's got him. I mean, it was a good thing he had it out. May Micah continue to be in bad spirits in the home of infinite losers. Amen, Jen. Boyo riding alone through the desert with his gun out the whole boyo. Oh man. Alright, where's this motherfucker? Put your gun away, John. Oh, he's in this little house, eh? You watch out, Irish. Man is born unto trouble. Oh. Where are you? Oh, who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh, he looks like uh, William Butcher from one, Irish. The Boys. We're in this together. You, me, and then an the assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I want to buy you a drink. I want to or tell Garrett you Hawk, really down on his luck. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. <sighs> and it makes me violently angry. <laughs> Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, then. We'll find your precious gun. Oh, John Marston. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right, Miss Raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me, poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. Where does if John find these people? I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Yes. Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap. 
Shoot breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose. Or sell it. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you oh, I like that saying. Folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight in doxies and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. I'm only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. Stop, damn it. They got a wagon? The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. John, Abigail's not going to be happy with you murdering all these people. You could have just talked to him. Wait, I want this. Fuck. Come on, peek out again. Oh, are you kidding me? gonna say rest in peace motherfucker <laughs> also they say the fuck the fuck word they say the f word a lot in uh this game compared to rdr2 which i do not mind at all it's very funny and i get to a thousand dollars Hello, John. Loot this body. Thank you! Come on. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, maybe we can finally go to Tahiti. You were saying? Wait, don't shoot yet. I'm looting. mine doesn't collapse on me. That would be bad. He looked like he was struggling. I wanted to put him out of his misery. I do. Oh god. Oh. I'm just running away, eh? No wait, no wait, no wait. Where are you shooting me from? Well, they have a gun. I can hear them say, don't let him get to the gun. Oh, I guess that's the, uh, the shaft? Maybe they don't blow up the dynamite. I guess that would be bad. Oh, shotgun ammo. There's not too many of them. Isn't that TNT? Whoa! 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 <laughs> he, was, he was shooting me as he fell. Oh, John Marston, you're a funny guy. This is a very large mine. I'm gonna maybe use... Oh, what's this? Oh, I have a shotgun! Where did I pick that up? Did I buy that? His head came clean off. Oh, there's a bunch of baddies down there. Calling me that. Oh, they're all congregated in here.
I don't know if I'm gonna be able. Oh, I can. How is he still alive? Isn't that a... No, that's not a TNT. Okay. Let's try the shotgun again. Oh god. Oh god, what's happening? these dead bodies. <laughs> I need more money. To the victor, the spoiled. Hello? I can't loot you, I guess. Or that's the way that I- oh, I think that's the way that I came. Don't want to inspect the minecart yet. Just guns everywhere. All right, now I will inspect it. That's a gun? Oh my gosh. I'm still gonna have to shoot people? I'll jump on. <laughs> oh, that's how. <gasps> we I thought I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Come on, John. You're strong. Wow, that was fun. There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed from down below. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. Come on, John. Come on, John. Come on, John. Ah! 
<gasps> yeah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He's still screaming. What the fuck? This is so great. What did I tell you? It's a cake. That was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Let's go. Why are you on Arthur? Right now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make oh, sure I bet you there's. The okay, I think he was just bringing me back my horse. I'm like, why is he on Arthur? Yeah. You are somewhat now known around the frontier and now costs you significantly less to convince officers of the law to turn a blind eye. Okay. Okay. Good, because we're doing a lot of just... Uh, just a ton of murdering. So much murder happening. I don't know which ones I've been in. Oh, this one doesn't have one. This one doesn't have one either! I wanted to try and get to a thousand dollars. Can I loot this? That's not a chest. No, this is, this is day three. We lost Arthur on day two. We got Arthur back. Also, hello, Zach. Okay. So there's West Dickens over here. Irish is over here in Thieves Landing. Which I want to go back there anyway. Because I want to buy that shotgun. So I'm going to go... Oh wait, there's a stranger over here. Funny man. Let's just go do this. Does it? I updated it. It should say day three. Oh, it does say day two. Well, now it says day three. <laughs> Let's just go do this. I must not have hit done when I updated it. Come on. Where's this funny man? It's not the top hat, man. Uh... What? I'm assuming he's... Does that mean up or down? I think that means down, right? As I go up. Instead of 
going down the ladder. John fell all the way. Okay. <laughs> Well, at least it put me back there. I didn't understand where this man was. I guess he was in the mine shaft. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, but I want to go. I'm just going to go to the gunsmith Howdy. before I finish. <laughs> Because I just want to buy this stupid shotgun. And I have enough money. I have so much money. That was fucking hilarious. Well, that's the man that wants the flowers, but I don't have enough of them. Oh god, don't fuck me. Oh, it's wet here. That's what he said. Oh, and we can rent a room here to save the game. Uh, I don't see a hitching post anywhere. So well, that's fine. What have we here? How are you, friend? Get some fence lift today. Oh, look, I have. Wait, maybe I'll sell those to the trapper. Thank you, RJ. Uh... Shotgun ammo. Oh, that's a lot of money. He's got three left. That must mean he has a lot. Another bandolier? I thought I bought one. But he's not wearing it. Now he's wearing it. I thought I bought a bandolier. Right. Did I? Why did I reload? <laughs> I thought that happened after. Like, I thought that happened way after. Why is everyone screaming? All the time. Oh, he's dead somehow. I didn't kill him. Oh. 
What the shit, man? <laughs> People just screamed. Hey, there should be a pitching post or something over here. So I can rent a room. And fine, I'll hitch here. <laughs> John doesn't have time for road safety. He's on a mission. How do I get here? From around this way? Alright, let's rent this room. <gasps> Purchase it? A hundred dollars? No way. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I thought I could rent it. That's dumb. Yeah, but how often am I in Thieves Landing? I also spent all my money on guns and ammo. is screaming. I saved this lady already. Why are there so many people who are screaming? I don't understand. Oh, that man's pissing? Hey. Okay. Oh, he's still in the mud. I'm just gonna leave him. Okay, I'm gonna go save at Bonnie's house. Because I don't have to pay to sleep here. And people scream too much in Thieves Landing. John would never be able to get a good night's sleep. Oh, I should have done that. I don't know how often the train comes, though. Next time. I'm sure there will be a next time. I just gotta wrap up because it's 11.03 and I have to go to work tomorrow. Come on, John Marston. Move your keys, sir, meester. Ah! Ah! Fucking move, horse. I'm surprised there's not, like, a little mission to check on Bonnie. I feel like that would be the nice thing to do. Like, where the fuck did this horse come from? This is my other horse. This is not Rachel. Alright.
Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'm trying to grow the channel to 500 or 1000 subs by the end of the year and your support is so appreciated. And as a reminder, if you want to watch everything happen live on Twitch, you can go to twitch.tv slash ohthatnatalie, where I stream Sundays, Wednesdays, and every other Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thanks so much. Bye.